I'm the veterinarian in the group. And one of the things that my patients have taught me, which I'll talk more about tomorrow, is that pets don't seem to have a placebo effect. <laughs> Probably all know that, don't you? Yeah. What got me started was, uh, first of all, I'm a board-certified veterinary surgeon and a board-certified emergency and critical care on the veterinary side. Also, I uh, have a fellowship in the American College of Critical Care Medicine on the human side. And I'm also a firefighter, 20-some uh, years as a firefighter. And an EMTI. And so I see as a first responder, I see patients that are both, of course, the two-legged. And then I go to the office and uh, do her surgery on, of course, the four-legged. And by four-legged, I just call them like they're hairy kids. <laughs> and my hairy kids then go all the way from the age of just barely newborn to all the way up to 14, 15, 16, and up to through 20 years of age. And tomorrow I'll share some uh, patients with you that went through the uh, elderly stages of from 18 to 22. And uh, when I first started to use the water, I was introduced to the water by a chiropractor friend of mine and a veterinarian who took me out to lunch and said, hey Tim, you're always sort of on the cutting edge, we think, we think. How about if you uh, introduce this water to you? And I said, so, free meal? Oh yeah, well I'm an old cowboy, so I said, let's go. And so I learned about the water over at lunch and uh, pretty soon I was starting to use the water on myself first. I was the guinea pig. And uh, of course, got old aches and pains from being an old broken down cowboy for many years. And uh, I was noticing, hey, I'm not having quite so many broken down pains here myself. So how about if we started on some of our dogs and cats? And uh, one of those, again, was an older uh, cat and two actually older cats. And uh, the owner calls me up about a week later. And she says, Dr. Crow, Dr. Crow, these two cats, they're just, they're kind of old, and yeah, they got kidney disease, but they're running around like 10 years old. And they were, that's just uh, essentially got such an excitement out of her that I had to continue. And so uh, tomorrow, I certainly hope I will be able to provide some science, too, that's basic, uh, some of the even physics that gets involved with the water, and uh, talk to you a little bit about more of our testimonials that we have and uh, how well it's been used in my veterinary practice and hopefully how you can convince your own veterinarians that you work with in your own communities all over how you can start to have them put that king and water machine in their practices where they can make a difference. Because that way, right now, that practice uh, that I'm in in Chattanooga, Tennessee has that water machine standing in room six and uh, owners come in and just bring their water jugs anytime they want to, and all the staff bring their water jugs, and everybody's on the water. And uh, it essentially is, it's been a thrill. So I just uh, thank you, and I'll look forward to talking to you tomorrow.